Hi everybody, this is Rachel for Cyber Sports Network. I'm standing here with the H2O Call of Duty team. Guys, would you like to introduce yourselves? Eric Prophet Metcalf. Uh, Zach Mew Anderson. So I want to ask you guys, when did H2O get a Call of Duty team? Well, about a year ago, we were going for SIVO and uh, we needed a good sponsor. There were some lands coming up. I'd been in H2O about a year before that, uh, before going over to Aggressive Gaming. Uh, old contacts, needed a sponsor, needed a name. And are you happy now with your home at H2O? I love it. Everybody, the community is great. The sponsors are amazing. I mean, everybody's just really nice. It's incredible. So what have you guys been involved in lately as far as Call of Duty competitions? Uh, well, a few months ago we did do a tournament in Frag Nation. We placed first against Vaulted Gaming. Uh, we did have a uh, second place in like a 1v1 shoddy tournament, you know, a little play around to just to prove our, uh, our versatility. Also, we are now in an ESL season, um, kind of picked up a new roster, so we're changing things around a little bit, but it's going great. We're building a lot of chemistry, uh, a really, really versatile team we have built right here. And I'm actually more familiar with the Call of Duty team on Xbox and the Call of Duty, excuse me, competitive scene. So can you guys fill me in on what it's like competing in Call of Duty online on the PC? On well, PC, we have a competition mod called Pro Mod. It removes all the perks, all the attachments, all the really noob stuff. And it's more like Counter-Strike Source, or, or 1.6. And the teams are just, it's, it's fast. I mean, we have a minute and a half uh, round time, and it's just, it's fast. It's, it's like a mix of Quake and old school COD. And right, do you guys have any... Uh, really cherished moments from your recent competitions? Well, I'll give it to Mew on this one. I'll give it to Mew on this one. In a, in a match on ESL the other day, he got a double kill. One, he watched the guy through a car and just popped up and got a nice deagle kill. And he had seen the guy on the other side of the map as he was rounding the corner. And he shot through a wall and got him and defused the bomb and went, won the round. So I'll, I'll give him that one. Well, that's pretty incredible. You guys listed off a, a couple leagues that you're involved in. So who is currently supporting Call of Duty right now? Oh, we got ESL, uh, Cyber Gamer. We got CSN doing some some stuff. We got Nerve Five coming up. Um, I mean, th it's slowly coming back. I mean, Black Ops and MW2 really hurt the North American community for for Call of Duty, but it, it's slowly coming back. All right. And what do you guys have planned in your immediate future as far as competition and uh, exposition of your team? I know you're traveling around. You're here at QuakeCon. What are you guys doing in the future? Nerve Five's definitely uh, Beyond Gaming is going to send us there, our sponsor. Um, we expect to, to place top three there easily. All right, and where can we keep track of you guys as you compete and uh, as news happens for the Call of Duty team in H2O? You can always follow us on PMSClan.com. Uh, they're launching a new esports site soon, uh, TeamPMSH2O.com. And you can always follow us on YouTube at uh, Team H2O Cod. All right, thanks so much, guys. Congratulations on your recent victories, and I look to hear more from you as you compete and as you bring honor to the PMS H2O Clan. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.